difference between bragging and humility and being humble and when's, when it's time to be humble when it's not? Well, first of all, if you reach certain levels in sports where you are great, a great athlete has to have two personalities. On the field, from my own personal experience, I was as cocky as anybody. I knew I could whip anybody. If they had a style a little different or better than me, I would copy it because I knew I was in better shape than them. I'd beat them with their own style. I'd step on their belly and then twist it. <laughs> I had no mercy on If I bowled my mother, I want to step on her. So I had no mercy. Off the wings, we got you puddled. Turn around, put the smile. Now you would say, oh, my, the guy had a bad time. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm so great, he, I needed an athlete to keep me company to show my greatness. <laughs> how can I show how great I am without another guy? But anyway, off the field, you come on, and you go, no. The guy had a little bit of a bad break. Shit, I hope he keeps bowling like that. <laughs> to myself. So off the field, you had humility. And if off anybody, the field. And if anybody, you no, were you, the, you you've been there. You don't even work, there. On, don't work on humility. Right. Just work on being nice. Here's how you here's how you be don't worry about being humble. Pay attention. Oh Frank, what kind of work are you into? See, take it off yourself. Oh, I'm a chiropractor. Hey, that's great. I go you now, you know, I feel good when I come back from a chiropractor. How good how wait, how good do you feel when you go to that chiropractor? <laughs> this may turn into a commercial. Well, I'll, I'll lie a little bit. <laughs> feel great. So seriously. So then you go to the next person, a lady, say, you know. What weight ball do you throw? What weight ball do you throw? See, you take it off of you. That's how you become a, You don't go, well, you know, I'm, I'm lucky. Bullshit, you're not lucky. You you busted your ass to be there. Today. Right, right. So I'm not going to talk about how humble I am. I'm going to talk about other people. Now that's how you become humble because you show interest in other people's lives. Right, not about yourself. Then they'll say, you know what a nice guy that guy is? Yeah. He asked me about my job. He wasn't talking about himself. That's why you're humble. That's the kind of humility you want. These Take are these all. are words of wisdom from Believe the great Carmen Salvino. You go he's been there, oh. he's done that, and he's still doing it. This is the guy who, 15 years ago, was doing extended arm push-ups. Not even 15 years no, ago. I'm 10 wrist. years ago. Well, you're also doing straight arm no, out like yeah. that. I remember that. And then you're doing them on your wrist. No, this, that was for the kids. This is for the big boys. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right, David. Now you tell your boys about I'm going to show